I guess I can start. Um, excited about this week. Um, feel like our team has um, still got a lot, obviously, to improve upon. Um, but it's always good to improve, have things to improve upon and uh, after you're winning games. So um, it was a good weekend for us against Texas. Um, they exposed us in some things that we needed to probably see so we can grow again with our offense. thought we played very good defense. Uh, that, and obviously I thought we pitched at an elite uh, College World Series level for sure. So that was good to see. Um, and um, now we just got to build on this. We got to go down to North Texas this week. That always gives us plenty of trouble. Um, and then go play a Houston team that we haven't played in a lot of years. So I'm excited about the week and, and see if we can uh, continue to get better. So. You've been really good in games this year, actually, where the offense haven't quite been able to produce the pitching, the feeling's been coming through in those. Is that a mentality thing where everyone else, you know, in their other areas knows they need to step it up? Or what have you seen from that? Because I think your record's like six and three in games where you have four hits or less. Huh. Yeah, I wish we didn't have that many games. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think that's really being talked about. Sure. I just think, you know, when you get into some of these elite games, um, you know that runs and hits are going to be at a premium. And so I think everybody's hyper-focused. We really talked about what it would take for us to win this last weekend, and I think we did that. Um, had a pretty good feeling of what Texas was and how they beat teams, and we were able to limit some of that, that stuff. I think it's why we kept them at bay, um, uh, especially with the defensive part. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't know that there's any correlation there. I just think we're just a young – um, an experienced team at times. Um, we don't always play like that, but sometimes it shows, and, and I think it showed this this weekend here when you go up against elite and an elite pitching coach, um, they can expose you fast. Is, is some of that the the youth learning how to adjust to the type of pitching they're seeing on a regular basis here? I think so. I, I think it's just part of the learning curve. Um, you know, I always think about somebody like a Rose that I felt like was pressing. It's the first time I've seen her press. Um, and she told me she wasn't, but I could tell by the way she was talking to me that she, that I think she probably was, um, you know what I mean? But um, I, I just, you know, I thought that Carly handled it fairly well, um, had one, you know, one or two good swings, um, but she's been having more than that, period, you know, for the most part. So um, I just think it's just growing, you know what I mean? Even, um, you know, some of our kids, like a Claire Tim, you know, she, I don't look at her as young anymore because um, she's been here now almost two full years, but just playing in these type of environments and being in the middle of an order um, is a different situation for sure. You mentioned after Saturday's game that, that you guys need to focus on the next game because it's the next game. Do you kind of focus on that a little more with this group being a little bit younger? Do you kind of need to instill that mindset with, with this group? I don't think so. I think that's something we talked about from my time here. Like the next game is the most important game, right? Because it's the next game um, and that's it. And that's what we've always tried, you know, to be, you can't look ahead. I think the best teams don't look ahead. They just look at what's under their feet. And um, so that's why we've always talked about the next step at, the next pitch, the next game. Like that's your next one. It's the only thing that, that matters. You can't change what's happened, good or bad. Uh, it's happened and now you got to figure out how to go go forward so I say that a lot and I don't but I buy in you know to that that it's the most important thing is the next game how would you evaluate where this group is now compared to maybe where they were at the beginning of the season or even a couple weeks ago uh we're not hitting as good um we're pitching just uh, just as good and we're playing good defense so um that's how I would evaluate that I mean our um hitting is kind of uh um, where there's more video now in all of our kids that wasn't out there. Um, so now that's, that's in their hands now. Um, they know what they're capable of because they've done it. So every one of those kids has done it at a high level here now. Um, now they're finding out when you get your butt kicked, like how do you respond? So um, I'm not worried about the talent. I'm worried about, I'm not, I'm not worried about anything, but I'm, I want them to understand what's in front of them and, and how to get better and how to trust that. So we talk about enjoying the suck here. You have to learn how to, be okay when you suck. Just understand it's just got to get better. You know what I mean? You're, you're going to have really bad days and really bad moments. That's what this game does. It's baseball. It's softball. It's a round ball and a round bat. And uh, the pitching is good. When good pitching is on, good pitching wins. Michaela talked about kind of she went, had a little bit of a rough stretch at the plate for, for a while and, and seems to be 
kind of snap it out of yeah. that. Is there anything you've noticed about her that has changed and, and how she got through that? Um, I, I think just like coming to grips with kind of what we just talked about, like, like, it, I mean, she had rough stretches this past year. So it's like, it's trying to get them to remember that like, you're still good. You know what I mean? Um, her and I have had a lot of, uh, her and I had a really good, just one-on-one -on -one talk that this last week that I think was maybe the best talk that her and I have ever had in my time here. Um, you know, we were at a coffee shop and just kind of talking about everything, leadership, um, you know, you, you know, the, the program, everything that, that me, everything that means a lot to her and me both. Right. And others is in here too. It's not just us, but like it was, a, that talk was about me and her and I left there going, man, I, I sometimes misunderstand her. It's competitive. Um, you know, I've had kids like that in the past year. I've had like a Sam Shaw that, you know, um, man, they say things at times and you're just like, ugh. It's like nails on a chalkboard, right? And then when you really think about it and you dissect kind of what was said, you go, man, that, that kid wants to win. You know what I mean? And, and so I'm just trying to help her. I just told her, I said, I think for, the, for her, the next step for her is like investing in your teammates so that they understand where you're coming from so that when you say things, they don't take it in weird ways, you know what I mean? And, and I think that's part of why I think she's going up. I think she's been really working on that over the last month and just being able to talk to her about other things besides softball, I think are beneficial to her success, you know, and she's good. I mean, she doesn't, I don't need her to do anything else except be the best her um, and getting her to understand that if she can invest in some of these other guys that are struggling like a rose, I said, hey, just grab Rose. Just grab her and just tell her, you're all right. I've been here. It sucks. Just part of this, but just get to your next one. You know what I mean? And so I think if she can keep doing that kind of stuff, I think you're going to see her just take off. Work and Kilfoyle were just talking about their parents to some degree and the relationship all the parents, yeah. seem, or most of them seem to have. Yeah. Is that something that's just organic or is that something a program can sort of help foster the unity even among parents? Or is that just a softball thing on every level? Oh, I don't think it's a softball thing. I don't think it's very normal. Um, you know, we have, we've always had a parent group here that's been good. I, I want to take a little bit of credit on that. Not, 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 and, and I don't mean that in a weird way. Like, I, I think I'm one of the few coaches around in our game, at least. I can't speak for their sports, but our parents are around us a lot. I don't avoid them. Whether your daughter was 0 for 4, 4 for 4, not playing, playing. I walk through the same lobby of every hotel. Um, they know where we're staying. They they can stay at our hotel. I let our kids go to to uh, dinner with their, their parents on, on road trips. Um, and so I think it fosters. We, we foster that as a staff. I say I, our staff, we foster the parents here because I think they're an important part of of what goes on here, you know, one of the one of the on an, on our official visits here in their senior years, I I sit all the parents down, whether it's in here, whether it's at my house, whether it's at a restaurant, it's just the the, the parents and and my staff, and I just I just my last kind of thing to them is always like, listen, like there's going to come a time here where your daughter is going to call you, and she's going to tell you that it sucks, it's hard, coach isn't fair. Um, you know, it's, it's so competitive to here. I, I don't know if I made the, uh, right choice. I miss home. You know, I wish it was easier, all this stuff. And in that moment, I need you as parents to just zip it and let them talk. Because at this point, you're the only ones that they really trust. And then when they're done, remind them that I told them that it was going to be a lot like that. They're going to hit this point. And I said, and if you can do that it's going to help us as a staff. It's actually going to help you and your, and your daughter's relationships. Um, and when we have everybody working synergistically, I think it's what has really helped us here. And I believe in that. Now it creates me some problems at times, but I believe it, 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 it lessens my problems. So I have less of them, but I'm still going to have some, some problems. And then I've got, um, you know, like, like 
uh, Kelly Maxwell's p p parents are no longer g g g here, but I bet you they would say their friend group out there was pretty dang good. And it's been passed on to the Kilfoyles and the Shows and and let's face it, like pitchers, parents are not always the easiest. Okay, that's just real. I think everybody in, in our game would tell you that. But I think embracing that um, and when those pitchers' parents are out there cheering for everyone else's kids, including the kids that their kids are fighting to get innings from, I think that tells you a lot, a lot about how our parent group works here. And uh, Scotland D David's parents did a really cool piece on uh, OSU Max. And um, in that piece, her dad said, you know, they, they talk about the cowgirl way here. He goes, I believe that there, there's a cowgirl parent way. And when he said that, I was like, damn, we got something really good good here. And I think um, I'm proud of that because I think we fostered that, that here. Um, I have parents that call me a lot. And I'll talk to, to, to them. But I'm going to remind them they only have one side of the story. And if they want to come to practice, it's wide open every day. So come sit out here and watch. Okay? And... Um, and a lot of times it just let your kid just struggle here and let us help her through it. And you be there as a parent, not as somebody that's trying to fix the problem. Let them work through, through all this. And um, I think when you have more of those honest conversations, I think you get what they just told you. Um, it's organic um, in a way, like you said, um, or you asked, but... Um, but I think there's been work involved in that too, because I think that's a healthy way to be. And um, I need those parents to be part of my team, not working against us. And I think we've got that. So even if you had the resources, and maybe you do, but I was talking to Michelle Thomas a long time ago. You know, she hadn't coached at OU in over 30 years, but at one point she was talking about the hassles of coaching softball. And she said, that's one of the hassles, hearing from her parents. She said, every coach, every sport goes through it. She said, the difference between me and Barry Switzer is he's got all kinds of people that's between him and the parents. I got to take the call. But it sounds like you don't mind taking the call and, and are glad you're able to take the call. And I, I don't mind the call. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think I'm too busy. I think it's right. part of my job. Um, parent, these parents care, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I look at it like you can either look at it as you're half full or you're half empty. I'm a half full, full guy. I think you guys know that. Um, and I know that these parents play an important role in, in, in these kids' lives. They have their whole life, and they will after this. So I might as well figure out a way to be a partner with all of them, right? And um, now, I'm not going to tell them anything. I'm going to give them truth. And um, I'm not going to beat around that bush. Uh, but, you know, look, if a parent has the guts to call me, I, I should take that call. Like if they want to step out on that limb a bit and go, hey, I, my daughter doesn't know I'm calling you. And I'm like, well, she probably knows. You know, she probably does, does know. But look, like, <laughs> look, here's the story. Like, this is from my perspective. Look at it through my lens. Because right now you're only looking at it through your daughters. Okay? And I get it. I, I understand that. But there's, there's more here than just that side of the story, right? Like, re I remind them a lot. Like, at the end of this day... Um, it doesn't matter how many kids we graduate. It doesn't matter how nice I am. It doesn't matter um, uh, anything else than how many games we're going to win here. So I'm probably going to play the best kids. Period. End of story. And if your daughter was one of those kids, today she would play. So she has that opportunity here every day. And there's not one kid, I don't care what the scholarship says, when they walk in the, that door, they're equal. And, um, I mean, Chelsea Alexander would, would, would be the greatest example of that. Didn't matter what, what her scholarship was. And I've been very open that I tried not to start her every dang year. And all she did was start. And it wasn't the biggest scholarship. And um, it wasn't the five-star kid. It was just a kid that cared about this place more than anyone and found her way in there. So I just... We're going to play the best kids here and, um, and the kids who do it right. And that's what it's about. Sort of along those lines, um, take this back to this, this team. Uh, still looking for, uh, for what that starting nine looks like, it seems like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have a little bit of a rotation at the bottom. Um, 
you know, um, in the outfield. That's really where we're at, you know, and I just haven't, I mean, heck, it's probably my, my, it's probably my, my fault um, because I'm rotating, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe if I just stuck with two kids, it would work it set itself out, but I just, these kids work so dang hard um, and nobody's like stepped up so much that I'm like, okay, you know, um, trying to give them all, you know, I have all those kids that are trying, you know, you know, just do a play, have at least uh, 18 or so, like official at, or like, you know, at bats with walks and stuff. Um, so it's not like we haven't given anybody any kind of opportunity. Um, we have some that have, you know, closer to, to 30 in, in that group, but nobody's just really like taking that next step. You know what I mean? We have some people that are taking some good at bats, but there's no production. You know what I mean? So it's like, just trying to figure out, okay, well, where do we go? I mean, we're getting on base, but then, you know, we're not having any, the, the production like we have. So it's up to us to figure this out, but we are. I mean, it may be the way it's going to be the, the rest of, of our year. I don't know. I've never really had this, so it's kind of a unique thing. Um, I wish we could get a couple of them just to say, I'm taking the bull by the horns and going. Um, but um, we haven't had that quite yet. I'm trying to encourage them all to just – do that, but they're looking at me going, well, I don't get any consistent at bats. I'm like, yeah, no, so maybe it is my, my fault. Um, but, um, hey, I need them to do the, their part too, and and, um, and they're doing that as far as the work goes. We're just, you know, it, it's tough. They want to play. Pressure, you know, it's all that. It's And we're playing good teams, you know, so it's uh, it makes it tough. How was, uh, how was Rosie handled being up higher in the lineup, you think? I thought she's handled it great until this weekend. I thought she just kind of looked like a – a freshman when she was batting this weekend when I haven't really felt like that at all the whole year. So um, I thought she had a good day yesterday, had a good look, was upbeat, kind of looked like the same kid. Um, and I've kind of felt like she was trying to fake it a little, little bit this weekend, which I think was kind of cool too because she. I think that's part of our deal. Like, hey, just fake it till you make it, right? And, and, um, and I thought she was really working hard at that. Um, you know, just, it's just learning how to not get themselves out. Like they're not swinging it. Like they're not getting beat on strikes. They're getting beat on balls that are out of the zone. And that's going to be the story. So until you can stop that, um, it's going to be hard. So, um, you know, Car Carly, I would tell you that she gets herself out, you know, she's hitting 350 in that range there. So in the six and a half times she's getting out, I would tell you that four, four of those six and a half they're like on balls that she should probably take. But when you can hit balls like she can hit them, you think you can hit every ball, no matter where it's pitched, that far. And so it's kind of just getting out of that young mentality of, hey, I need to still get the best pitches and execute my best swing on those. Back at the beginning of the season, when you got asked about Caroline coming up from the level she was at, you talked about the success she'd had when she played power of the uh, uh, opponents. It doesn't seem like anything has really faced her in this whole transition. It's amazing. Like, it's just, um, I, I've almost forgot that she's back there, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? She's just so calm. Like, during games, the interaction that we're having with Carrie and I and her and Ship, just talking to her about, you know, where was the pitch at or or just re, re, just relaying info to her. Um, she's smiling. Like, she'll laugh at herself. And we can kind of catch that, and it's just kind of us that are catching that. There's a lot of stuff that's going that's going on. She's just so at ease. Um, uh, she told Shippy the other day. I don't we had either through a text or face to face. I'm not sure which one, but she said, "I'm just having the having the time of my life. Thank you so much." I'm just like, "Wow, well, that's awesome." And it's just really cool to see. She's been a um, our pitchers are really migrated towards her. She can throw. It's not the strongest arm you've ever seen. It's not the arm that she's been used to. You know, she had surgery a couple of years back, and she's just never been the same. And that's what I saw in the fall. And then now I'm, like, seeing this quick release, this sense of – her sense of urgency when there's runners on base is wild. And it's maybe the best we've ever had. I mean, when she's throwing out runners, she's throwing them out by a long way. Um, and it's been really cool to watch. How much 